All right, we're back. Yeah. yeah, I agree. All that stuff did make wrestling really crazy. Again, I haven't watched, so I don't know what they're up to with shenanigans. I think I've mentioned this before, um, but I always loved shit for the hardcore belt. Like, you could just be attacked anytime, any place. Like, you're in the arena and just taking a shit, that's it. You're going to get fucking jumped. Because I would love whenever they'd be, like, doing an interview in the parking garage with them, and then all of a sudden someone just comes out of nowhere and hits them with a fucking ladder. Some shit like that, and they start fighting, like, fucking down at the bottom, fucking running into barrels and shit. Oh, God, it's Bernie Sanders with the chair. With the chair. Exactly. Bernie could have done it. Oh, it's now called the 24-7 belt? Huh. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't have the ring of the hardcore belt. Especially because I also remember, I feel like the hardcore belt looked kind of beat up and shit, like, in its design. It's been a while. I might go, like, look it up. But, <clears throat> let me see. Yeah, it was usually like kind of beat up and shit in a lot of these pictures, at least that I'm seeing. Oh shit, there's a picture with fucking mankind with it. Hell yeah, that guy was dope. Oh, okay. I actually didn't know that was the lore for it. That's tight. No wonder Mankind's in this picture with it. Hmm? It says that the lore for the hardcore belt is that Mankind dug out a broken heavyweight belt from the trash and fixed it up. That makes sense why it was like that. I had a friend who had that one. You could get the toy of it, I think. Oh, nice. I'm pretty sure. I, it was either that or he got a normal one and made it look like it. Uh, you know. Because, yeah, that, that was, like, the sickest one. Yeah, you just, like, just there talking. It's like, well, yeah, Kelly, I think, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the match at WrestleMania, you know. And uh, my GameStop, uh, my GameStop stock's doing pretty good, too. And then just, oh, I'm fucking just, oh, with, like, a board. Oh, the relevant GameStop meme. You know, obviously. Gotta get it in where I can. Oh, yeah. You know. Because, again, you could be on top of the world, you know. Yeah. Next thing you know, getting your ass beat. It's true. That's the way the hardcore belt worked. <clears throat> All true. Nice. Oh, you're going to get a replica of it? Oh, that sounds sick. Oh, this is your guy, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know if you can tell yet. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't mention it. I need to change the stream title. It's <laughs> fair. Okay, they recognize this, so they, they love it. It's just kind of funny. fits this character better. Oh, what stabs you as a warning? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I love that chart. <laughs> Our truth is the guy who has it now. He'll lose it and regain it in the same night as his main thing. Oh shit, it's like the Fies belt or something. <laughs> Dude. That's a good that's a good reference. <laughs> Our truth. Let's see who this guy is. Hmm. Okay. I don't know this guy, but this picture of him with a wig on, pretty dope. <laughs> hmm. That's funny. He said that the dude is currently McMahon's weed dealer. Nice. I, I hope that's lore and IRL. <laughs> <laughs> 
You hope. One can hope and pray. <clears throat> he just he just does a deal right on screen. Yeah. <laughs> if they're in California, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> or Colorado. Yeah. Or um, like Seattle, you know. Yeah. I remember my sister was up there, and she like did some. There's like some place that like everyone has their fake weed license listed yeah. to, you know. Yeah, yeah. Of course, naturally. Uh, just a meme. Damn, that's tragic. Let me know before you blind me again. What was that? Right, blinds <laughs> chat. Thanks. Thanks. <clears throat> Here at the Weed Dome. Man, I'm sad that they wouldn't let. Because wasn't Pornhub going to buy like a sports stadium? Yeah, something like that. And it was going to be like the fucking Pornhub Dome or some yeah. shit. That would have been so funny. That's in the good timeline, though. That would have been hilarious. That's why we couldn't have it. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. He went from brutal to the joke character. Damn, that's how it goes sometimes. But you can be more powerful as a gag character, technically. It's true. Just remember, though, chat, you either die a villain or live long enough to see yourself become the gag character. That's true. Very true. Sad. <laughs> Can we get an F in the chat for that? <laughs> he could still be a very brutal gag character. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Isn't this funny? I just ripped your heart out as a gag. <laughs> 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 no, how will we have fun here? We do have fun. Here. <laughs> we have fun. <laughs> we do have fun. We do have fun. All right. Oh no, let me turn this shit back down. Okay. As long as he's still getting paper, you know. That's what really matters. It's true. And there's hey. a lot of, uh, it's not like there aren't plenty of actors who've changed their, like, kind of thing up a lot. That's true. You know. <clears throat> like, Johnny Depp used to do a lot of stuff before he got typecast as Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Getting that paper? Good. Good man. As long as he's fully stocked on toilet paper, then he'll be good. That's true. It's tough times. Tough times in the kingdom. Mm-hmm. This is a Matt's hand stream. No, I just no. I know you need to do it. It's just funny. <laughs> just need to learn to draw with your eyeballs. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Bitch, you know what it means. No. <laughs> no, I don't. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> Gotta do that thing like they do in cartoons where their eyeballs come out. <laughs> this looks cool. 
I saw the sketch for this before he, uh, you know, when he was working on it. It looked pretty sweet. Imagine it just appears on the paper. Oh, yeah, right. That'd be nutty. Yeah, if, yeah, then everyone can be good at art, yeah. It's like if, um... <clears throat> if they had a thing like that for dreams or something, then everyone could make movies, you know? Yeah. So... You can't even imagine how crazy that would be if you could, like, you know, record your dreams and play them back on something. Yeah. That would be so insane. <clears throat> I remember there was a movie like that one time. Not with dreams, though, but it was with, like, your memories. Mm -hmm. And so... You, you would record all your memories, and then after you died, it was like the, the main character of this movie, he had that was like his job. He was one of the people who would like go through your memories and basically make like your, uh, you know, like the movie of your life or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, for your relatives. Yeah. And so it would sometimes record like weird stuff of your dream. It would record your dreams and stuff, but you're not really supposed to like, it's kind of unethical to watch them or there was stuff like about that in it. Yeah. And he was talking about how sometimes he'd watch people's dreams, you know, and stuff. It's like a weird movie. I don't remember what it's called. It sounds like a weird film. Let me see if I can find it. <clears throat> My mom was watching it one time. My mom watches the weirdest fucking movies. Oak found it already. I thought that Robin Williams was in this movie. What's it called? It's called Final Cut. I think this is it. Hold on. Yeah, film takes place in a setting where memory implants make it possible to record entire lives. Williams plays a professional who specializes in editing memories of unsavory people into uncritical mem uh, memorials that are played at funerals. Hmm. I don't know what happens. Maybe it's like a thriller or something. Like you see, the poster gives me like a bit of a thriller look. Yeah, it I does. only watched two minutes of this movie when my mom was watching it. Uh, he says, uh, "Just a reminder: the skin is ash white." Ash white, got it. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, this does seem like some sort of a thriller or something like that. It's kind of associated with getting the memories of someone this guy worked on. Yeah, I thought Robin Williams was in this movie, but I was like, no, I must be mistaking this for one hour photo. Oh, yeah, because that's the thinking... other weird movie he was in. Yeah, because that's what, that's what I was thinking you were messing it with, missing, uh, mixing it up with. No, no, I was like, I know, because I didn't, that's why I didn't mention Robin Williams was in it until after I checked. Because I was like, I know he was in another movie that involves, like, you know, Cause that, I was that one has photographs. Because I was thinking of One Hour Photo when you were talking about it. No, I'm, I'm like, I knew it was was a completely different movie. It was, it was made much earlier, too. <clears throat> but, yeah, it was just a real, my mom would just rent, like, any movie. Mm -hmm. from, you know, half the time. Yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, this is a new movie. I'm going to rent it. Although this has Robin Williams in it, so that's, like, at least a pretty, like, 
you reasonable. Know, your reasonable take, you know, yeah. like if you see him on the cover, you know, and you flip it over and you're like, oh, some weird thing about memories, you know, and like stuff like that. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I don't know if the movie is good or bad yet. I have no idea. So, I mean, it sounds like an interesting concept. Yeah, I mean, it seemed like really cool because, again, I, I must have only seen the very beginning because it was where they were kind of explaining this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I never went back to it. Oh, he says, see if you can give him some runes on the skin somewhere. Okay. Okay. You have, like, a specific rune, or... We could try to fit it on, like, a finger or something, maybe? I don't know exactly where they go. Because most of this character is kind of covered up, I think. Yeah. They've got, like, armor on and clothes on. So I think the only thing is kind of, like, their fingers, probably. <clears throat> At least that's what I remember from the sketch. Yeah. Because if you were going to be like an adventurer, you know, you'd need some armor. And a lot of their clothes back then kind of covered everything. Yeah, he's based off of Rakdos' character, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I saw the logo on the phone. Mm -hmm. so. oh, I guess it's still there technically, too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, even in this reference photo, they don't have too much skin, so... Oh, okay, so then, okay, so done on the fingers, though. Okay, then, yeah, there's not really too many places where this guy has, like, anything exposed, it looks like. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, I only I remembered one hour photo also, and that's why I thought it wasn't Robin Williams in this movie. I was like, there's no way. I must be mistaken. Man. That's the one where he has the Ava, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Neon Genesis Evangelion. Yeah. He's like a superhero. <laughs> yeah, right. And I, I was like, that. he completely oh. like explains it wrong. Yeah. Like, just to like troll. Oh yeah, that shit was hilarious. Did you miss a checker? No, I just had it was um you, oh, it's the size of it or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. That reminds me of, like, Shane told me one time he was at the dentist's office, and he saw in the, like, there were some action figures or something on the shelf, you know, for on the kid's side, and he's like, and he's, he says, but along with them, there was Pinhead from Hellraiser. <laughs> he's like, do you know that guy is, like, evil? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pretty cool dude. You know? It's like kind of a demon. I, I don't remember exactly. The Cenobite lore is kind of weird because like it changed, I think, after the original writers left for the later movies. Mm -hmm. So... <clears throat> Oh, you're doing some, like, uh, power leveling in Xenoverse 2? Nice. The Frieza race character? They don't have a race name? Are they, like, Frieza-arians? They're cold. I actually don't know what their, what their race name is. Yeah, I don't know either, actually. That's interesting. Yeah. It's kind of interesting, actually. That... It just says Frieza race on the Dragon Ball wiki. Of course. I'm not shocked, honestly. But I thought, like, maybe since they were in the game. <clears throat> says the species have been referred to as the Frost Demons and Friezas, colloquially. In Dragon Ball Fusions, they are considered part of the alien race. Oh, the alien race, really? Yeah, really. Honestly, I'm not lying. Also, who is this weird dude? Who is this dude behind Frieza in this random picture? Is that cooler, I guess? Let me see. Yeah, that's the right color. Yeah, that's cooler, I guess. No, that's that yeah. other guy from the other universe. Oh, there was Oh, there was another one? Oh, okay. Yeah. I did not know that. Fake fan. Well, yeah. Actually, I've never really admitted to being a fan. I yeah, know, it's a joke. I really love Dragon Ball, though. They never gave him a name? Yeah. <clears throat> it's like, um, Yoda. 
Yeah. Because even even they just call them Baby Yoda still. Yeah. They don't have an actual race. Which I was shocked because they were in Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah. So I was surprised that like the expanded universe didn't have a name for them either. Which yeah. would technically be non-canon now because of Disney. But even then you could still use it. You know, yeah. Like it's fans a, could still use it. It is interesting. Yeah. Because I went to look it up and I think there still was not a name for that. Yeah. Very bizarre. Yeah. That was weird to me actually. Maybe there is one now? Maybe I missed it? No, I don't think I there is. I doubt it, because people would have mentioned it. <clears throat> yeah, even on Wikipedia, it still says oh, that. Wikipedia. Oh, that's the main Star Wars movie. I know, it's just funny that it's called that. Yeah. This species of small carnivorous humanoids? They're carnivorous? I thought the baby Yoda just drank fruit juice or something. Look, man. The fruit, I don't know. The fruits are made from the fruits of the blood of... Uh, fuck, man. I don't fucking I know. got you. You're right. The Mandalorian's victims. Yeah, sure. <laughs> his enemies. Yeah. He feeds his enemies to baby Yoda. Makes sense. <clears throat> Oh, this is kind of weird. I guess this is like a female one, quote unquote. They've got like this hair in this picture. It's supposed to be from uh, some weird extended universe thing. I've never seen this character. Oh, okay, this is why it looks like. It seems like Lucas had a strict po it says Lucas had a strict policy on uh, keeping the history, name, origin, and whereabouts of the species unknown. When asked about what species Yoda is, Lucas only joked he's a frog. In the documentary from Puppets to Pixels, he joked that Yoda is the element illegitimate child of Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy. I would fucking believe that by the way, Axe. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I guess so that's why they never did that in the extended universe, or expanded, or whatever it's fucking called. The Star Wars licensed fan fiction universe. <laughs> I think you got something there. That's great. Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy. I always loved Miss Piggy. She was one of my favorites. Kermy. Kermie, why won't you do me now? <laughs> uh, well, I can't do Kermit's voice, though. I can't do Kermit's voice. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't think like, anyone in this he's room... He's like, uh, 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 I don't fuck pigs. I'm a frog, <laughs> you know? Cool, yep. I have nothing against you. <laughs> Kermit the frog here. Yeah, you're a lovely pig, but... <laughs> I'm a frog. <laughs> yeah. It's not easy being green. I have to deal with this thirsty pig. <laughs> oh, those thirsty capitalists. Right. Oh, you're like teleporting around the stream here, it looks like. Yeah, no, I did, because I remember when, uh, you know, The Mandalorian came out and everyone was just saying Baby Yoda or whatever. I was like, wait, they never gave this? It was like, it's been like 40 years. Yeah, never. You know, or whatever, 50 almost? I don't even know yeah. at this point. Star yeah. Wars is from, what, 77, right? Yeah, something along those lines, yeah. Yeah, so. <clears throat> That's just interesting to think about. Yeah, definitely. And the outfit was great. Yeah. It's 
come together. I love it. Saprophia, what's up? How's it going? Sapporo, like as in the beer? No, Sapro, like S A P R O. So it's not like the beer. No. That's a shame. Thanks. Uh, yeah, that's refillable, right? Sure. Or, well, it's those uh, changeable ones. You just change out the end part? Oh, yeah, the, this part's changeable. Yeah, you just throw it away once it's done. Yeah, I mean, you could refill it technically. Oh, right? no, not very well. Not, not, not feasibly. Hmm. It seems like it's just a little container with a screw cap. Uh, I don't have the. <clears throat> Do I, have I don't want you to take it apart. I know, like, what the package looks like, but I guess I never like thought about refilling it. You know what's funny is I was actually thinking if I needed to buy another one, and a part of me thinks I actually do need to buy more of these things. That's funny. We can go to Kino and pick some up, right? Yeah, yeah. I guess I can go to Kino. Well, whatever. Point is, is that they're not refillable. They're they're separate cartridges. Oh, okay. I thought it was like, like again, I thought it had just a little screw cap, you know, and you like took the little cap off and then you screwed the brush end on or something. You screw off this part right here, but. Yeah, yeah. You can't refill that? No. Huh. That's weird. <clears throat> Not without making a huge mess. Uh, what brand is it? Uh, Kuratake. Kuratake. How do you spell that? Uh, K-U-R-E-T-A-K-E. Kuratake. Kur Kuratake, yeah. Kuratake. Let me see if I can find out. Yeah. Or a brush pen, I guess. Brush pen. Uh, that's definitely it. These guys. This is their website. I don't, I don't know if you can actually buy it directly off them, but at least you'll have the brand. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, he uses a lot of these. Yeah, their ink's pretty good because it works well with uh, marker. Mm -hmm. It doesn't smudge. Uh, I've yeah. seen you use these ones too, these pens that have this little loop on the end of them. Yeah, those are pretty good too. So, uh, if you want a good place to get pens, uh, just a good uh, variety of ink, and actually, have, they actually have articles on the ink. The website's jetpens.com. Jet pens? I'll find a link for that. Uh, they have a, a plethora of pens, as well as tutorials and little talks about like which ones are good, doing what, that sort of thing. This now, place. Now, this stream is known part sponsored by Jet Pens, but Jet Pens, if you're out there, send us free shit. Send us tons and tons of free tons shit. Tons of it. Tons of it. I want free shit by the barrel. Then I could throw them at people like I'm fucking Donkey Kong. It's true. You know, after I've you know, emptied the barrel. I want to keep the free shit. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That much is tiny monkey status. Right. Damn right. <clears throat> oh, you've jet pen you use jet pens for fountain pens. Okay, but not for illustrations. Okay. Yeah, there's some good stuff there. Mm. Yeah, it looks like a good website. Yeah, they got I a little... I've heard of them before. So. Yeah, it's where I actually get mo got most of my stuff online. If I... Or if, like... Uh, I've had my brother and uh, family like been like, hey, where where do you want me to what do you want me to get you? That's like an art supply. Just send me a link. I usually send them to Jet Pens because it's pretty good price and also it's um, good quality stuff. Mm. Let's see. Uh, you usually use dip pens, but you've been thinking about brush pens. Okay. Dip pens are good too. I get I use I use a quite a, lot, a variety of stuff. Um, you can get um, like when I'm doing small commissions like this, I usually prefer to use the brush pens. When I'm doing big pieces, I'll break out the um, uh, these these bad mamma jammas. Uh, I don't know if anyone knows about these. These are the Windsor Newton Series Seven brushes. Oh shit! The legendary. They're really good uh, for making good lines and things like that, and have a good uh, variety to them. Uh, they're really expensive though, so I only own two of them. Um, uh, and they're both very nice, though. Uh, if you are looking for an off-brand, though, Princeton also does pretty good brushes as well. Uh, for, you know, like, uh, not Windsor New, New Series 7 brushes. <clears throat> G 
Dan Windsor Newton. Fucking give me free Send shit. Send us free shit. Come on. Pay what you owe. We'll we'll fucking say anything's good if someone starts paying us. It's true. It's mostly true. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't think we'll. It's about a ninety percent true. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, there's a slim there's a slim chance we might not agree to this. Yeah, depends depends on the product. We will. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, sh- we'll think it over. <laughs> we'll show out for a lot of things, but you know, sometimes yeah. sometimes there's like you know. Much like the uh, Nazi commission, we do refuse. We do have the right to refuse. That's yeah, true. You fixing the fingers? Yeah. I can tell. <laughs> Man, those weird Nazi commissions. Yeah, right. Like, do I look like the night motherfucker that'll do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do. You just look like it. I mean, I am white, I guess. <clears throat> you look pure Aryan. The, the blue eyes, the sexy Aryan blonde hair, obviously. 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 Just blowing in the wind like Fabio, you know? Is it blowing? I need to put the product in. <laughs> you just look like you're down to do all the art for the Fourth Reich, apparently. The That's fourth it. one? <laughs> yeah. Is it really? Because they're starting the new one, okay. you know? They're <laughs> neo Nazis, obviously. Obviously. Unless they were time traveling Nazis. In which case, you know, then maybe they, they, they'd still be part of the Third Reich. Might even be part of the second one. Oh shit! Well, they weren't Nazis then, though. I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> I'm, look, I'm just saying. Shit. <laughs> okay, I got it. Right. I'm your typical. You, you, okay, I'm, you're, you're going unfact checked. Yeah, I'm doing it. a typical Quinon shit, you know. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Now comes the fire. <laughs> now, here comes the base. Mm-hmm. Drop the bass. I don't know if I just haven't been ten- paying attention or just we haven't been singing at all, because that's the first time I've noticed it. Uh, I don't think I've been singing. I think we've just been talking a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> It was because we were so busy talking about fuck Otakon. That's true. The QAnon people just found out about the time travel? See, I, I knew about the time travel before. That was part of the old uh, 4chan thing before it was QAnon. That was some of the best shit. I love it. That's in the OG uh, Trump lore. Was that Trump was a time traveler and then Pence was like an even better time traveler? It was amazing. <clears throat> Timmy's trumpet. Those Quanon people, man. Fucking crazy. They're crazy. As long as they're not round earthers. <laughs> now, apparently, like, every conspiracy... I was watching a video on a bunch of stuff, and it's like, now all of, almost all of the crazy conspiracy things have, like, just joined into QAnon almost. Huh. Yeah, it's weird. Like, QAnon has started to, like, absorb, like, the round earth people, all the fake moon landing people, like, all of them. It's, like, insane. It's, it's like now, like, the mega conspiracy umbrella that, like, doesn't matter what your conspiracy is, which is kind of, like... What I would always tell people I would do with conspiracy stuff is like, because if anyone would start talking to me about conspiracies, I would just out crazy them. Yeah. That's the easiest way to like try to defeat them. <clears throat> you know, because it was hilarious. I remember like uh, some of the stuff like that with the election. Yeah. I would go, you know, and my mom would be talking about something and I'm just like. Look, Mom, I already know Joe Biden's a cannibal. Look, I don't even know why they're counting the Georgia votes. Georgia doesn't exist. I've never been there, you know? (laughs) Clearly, it doesn't exist. Yeah, Big Tent conspiracy, yeah. Oh, yes, that one with with the Baron. Yeah, that was part of the, like, super old lore from before QAnon. The 
Congress people with a Q. I love that. That's amazing. I think they should just expel all of Congress. I miss the king. If we had the king, we wouldn't have to worry about election conspiracies. That's all I'm saying. This is an interesting color for the background. Yeah, I want it to be dark, con mm -hmm. contrasting for the uh, fire. Yeah. <laughs> Brush up on the lore. Yeah, I, my my lore is pretty old. The Q, the Quanon, I always call it Quanon. So the Quanon lore changes a lot, from what I've heard. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you know, young blood and all that. So. But yeah, because I know what you're talking about with the time traveling with Baron, and there was some other there was some other ones too, I think. Because there was a thing that like uh, who was it? I forgot who who it was, but the thing was that like Mike Pence was supposedly like had even better time travel tech than Donald Trump had, and so he could have like multiples of himself in like the timeline, and so there were like all these hidden Pence agents. Like my because, cousin's wife was uh No 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 it was it was one of the who was it was it um oh, what is his name he was someone else who was running um for the Democratic Party against Hillary but like his wife someone was saying that the guy's wife was That's a Pence was. agent yeah cuz she looked exactly <laughs> cuz she looked kind of like Pence with a wig on and like something like that people were saying yeah <laughs> and, like there was all this crazy stuff like that because it was like Trump went to the future and saw the apocalypse Hillary Clinton created. <laughs> and when he came back, he knew he had to fix it. It was like hilarious. <laughs> I'm just like, what the fuck? What a wild fucking bit. There's right. like so many fucking crazy things like from that shit. Mm -hmm. And Jamie says the background looks like chocolate. It, actually, fun fact, that's the name of the color. Mm hmm. Yeah, Jester says he likes it, so... Yeah, I, again, I'm trying to make it so that it, like, um... Jamie, you're right. Yeah, the lore just resets every now and then. Yeah, pretty much. It's like a Marvel comic, you know. Yeah. Or DC. Legit. Like, any of those. <laughs> Pence's body is like the Lich King's crown and must always have an occupant. That's hilarious. Oh, it's so true, though. That's funny. <clears throat> yeah, I'm legitimately interested to see, like, how this, like, affects the Republican Party. Yeah. Because, and, and the Democratic Party, technically, because before this, it looked like the Democratic Party really needed to break into two parties. But now, I think it's definitely... Who blinks first and like they can just let the Republicans blink first and split <laughs> so because if the whole you know Quinon thing becomes a serious issue in like state and local elections then like that, that could start to get pretty crazy and like they're not gonna get too many people enough people nationally elected on a yeah a, a party that's based on all of that stuff yeah yeah like they could get like an amount probably but <laughs> I don't think they could ever be the majority again if that's how their normal party becomes. The, you're talking about the Republicans? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. <clears throat> so, because in most countries, the Democratic Party would be at least two parties. Mm -hmm. Like the way they are in our country. They, they would be two parties in like another country. Yeah. Like in England or somewhere. Yeah, because you have like... The, the... And that would work because they have a government that works like that. So... And then technically, then the Republicans could do that, and it would probably still be decent. But yeah, <laughs> they'd have one of those crazy conspiracy parties like they have in other countries too. Well, didn't they have? They they'd split ish a bit. Like when they became the, like there was like the Tea Party movement back in the day. Yeah, that happens from time to time. But that was like nowhere. Near, that was actually based on like governing issues, kind of like or policy a bit, if I remember. Right. Yeah, it wasn't based on whether like. 
Trump is a time traveling god king. That we, <laughs> no, no, I, I, yeah, no, I get Nancy you. Pelosi eats human babies or something. No, I get you know? that. Yeah, yeah. So it was I'm a just, little different. No, I get that it's different. I'm just saying that that was but, kind of an idea of like the idea of it's splitting. Now that's more like a movement within the party. Okay. So like right now, that's kind of what this is. But it's like to the like I said, a level that's a little intolerable. Yeah, I think. Because it's going to be tough to do some stuff if it's like, you know, you're on the Senate Budget Committee and then the person sitting next to you is like, well, we shouldn't even fund this because the moon doesn't exist, you know? And yeah. like, Donald Trump was the rightfully voted empress, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, just talking like all this weird shit. Like, you hear some, like, you would hear what was, what was that guy's name? The, um, Oh, what was the the guy who thought he was the super CIA agent that would go to your library? The oh, general or the, uh, the governor. The governor, yeah. Like, if the governor is sitting next to you on the Senate Budget Committee, you yeah. know, like, it's going to be, like, really awkward. Yeah, you're going to be like, mm. You know. You, you would think that they wouldn't get elected because of just how crazy their views are, but you never know. Well, I'm saying they could get some smaller roles probably, but in a national election it would be very tough. Yeah. Uh, let's see where are we, the chat's going a little fast here. Uh, let's see. Jamie says hypothetically, if the Quanon quacks got their way and ruled the nation in the long run, the followers will be so shit shocked to discover that pedophilia still exists. Yeah, like people legit watched Biden's inauguration and were legit waiting for the storm. The same way people watch a TV drama waiting for a couple to kiss or whatever, then it didn't happen. Yeah. To be fair, liberals were doing that for Trump too. Yeah. So, I mean, we've all seen that video of that person who's like, yeah, like drops to their knees and is like screaming after yeah. he's like sworn in. So, you know, there was animosity on both sides. Let's go with that. Yeah. And I motives are different. But, you know, I'll I, go with that. I'll give you that. Again, I don't like to do the both sides thing because a lot of the time. But I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying there was animosity on both sides. Oh, of yeah. This, of either of this. Like, there was animosity last time when Trump got elected, and there was people, you know, people were waiting for something then, hoping for something, and then this is a different group of people hoping and waiting for something. Yeah, it's a little... So, the only, I will say there is some nuance and some differences there, but yeah, no, it, it, the people were waiting for a lot of things to happen. Yeah, it's just, yeah. like, the big difference is that, like, Joe Biden is, like, you know... yeah. Now, obviously, like, yeah, before the stuff before the election definitely really fucked them over, you know, so uh, or not before the but before the inauguration. So yeah. it's, it's, it's not exactly the same. Like, I see I see your comment, Jamie. Don't get me. Yeah, because like, like I know for a fact, like because we had that whole nonsense with, you know, the whole, you know, QAnon storming the Capitol already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like there was precedent for you to be yeah. like a little concerned. So like I understand like there was. Well, no, no, no. They're talking about the, the storm thing is like that the government will do it or whatever. No, they were like, I understand. The military is going to do this. They're no. waiting for a miracle. No, I understand what you're talking about. But I'm saying that like. Me, personally, I was more concerned that there was going to be another capital attack sort of thing because oh, of yeah, yeah, yeah. what had happened previously. So there was at least um No, no, no. That's precedent. definitely, yeah. That, that There was precedent in that regard. That I'm talking about the, like, hoping for a miracle part of it. Oh, no. I don't hope for miracles anymore. Like... I'm not saying, like, fuck anyone's feelings. That's not what I said. <clears throat> yeah, let's not put words in people's mouths here. I'm saying neither side liked when either side was elected, the both last times. Now, yeah, one side was a little fucking, like, more, you know, intense about it. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want anyone so, to think that we're saying that. That's, let's not, like, go that route. Because I, I feel like that's a dangerous slippery slope route of, like, people, he said, she said. Uh, things and we're just saying that. Okay, okay, okay. All right. She says it. She says it. Okay. Okay. Also, yeah. just want to make sure I understand correctly. We said that this guy's skin was like a ash white, white, ash white. Ash okay. White. Okay. Just want to make sure. Yeah. No, because like my thing is like I've been on every side of the political spectrum. Like I used to watch Infowars all the time. I watched. I've watched Fox News, I've watched MSNBC, I've watched CNN, I've watched, like, 
Uh, my favorite is Al Jazeera. I love Al Jazeera. Yeah, Al Jazeera's great. Like, their, their reporting is amazing, you know? Uh, right now, I kind of, like, lean towards, like, The Hill, because uh, the two main people on that don't seem to like anyone, which I love. <laughs> So I'm uh I've actually like the Republican guys like the Republicans are trash and the Democratic girl is like the Democrats are kind of trash. (laughs) Yeah, I'm a I'm so I'm a big fan of uh, the Week uh, from the news book the magazines that we get in. Mm, Okay, I actually like the Week a lot because sure they're a bit more left leaning but they're a bit more reasonable in their left leaning whenever they talk about that kind of stuff because it's all like you know Mm -hmm. like um. Uh, they'll, they'll show like images and stuff of like you know like funny uh, political cartoons things like that but at the same time they're like yeah nah fuck all this fuck you fuck yeah. you, fuck the democrats who are thinking this way cause like again like at the end of the day people need to get the, the, the mm-hmm. both parties need to get their shit together cause we're like we're owed we're not really owed money but we're like you know we're, we're owed some, like the government is supposed to work yeah it's supposed to work at all. Like I said, yeah. they they needed a plan. They needed something. They Again, they could have all been like, the virus doesn't exist. Go out and do whatever, you know? Yeah. Or, or, you know, again, this clearly is a real threat, and here's how we're going to solve it. Yeah. You but, know? They, but the problem is they didn't have a plan either way. Yeah. And they were just fumbling in the dark. Yeah. So, so again. You know? But, uh, yeah, I agree, uh, Sapro. They said, "Don't know what other to uh, don't know what other than this nonsense to expect in the country is a pressure cooker of degrading conditions and wild ideology." Pretty much. Yeah, and also it's like again the problem uh, we jokingly say is freedom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but but again, like you know, the person who says that the, there is no moon, the world is flat, their vote matters just as much as yours. Their vote can actually matter more than yours, depending yeah. on where they live. That's true, depending on where they live. Their vote can actually matter more than yours. Yeah. And that is true, and that is a sad fact. Yeah. There we go. Let's get a little closer here. See some of the detail. And so, again, like, that's why that's... Like, yeah, so that's why it's like... And again, like I said, I've been on every side of the political debate, and I love crazy conspiracy theories and reading about them, and like, you know, it's like... I, I'll listen to whatever they're saying, but I'll be like, at the end of the day, I'm like, yeah, that's kind of insane, you know? Yeah. Like, just to, I just want to hear it because it's, like, interesting that people can be so, like, into any sort of idea on any side of this part. They're just, like, so wholeheartedly into some of this stuff, you know? Yeah. I'm never a person to get, like, too invested in, you know, something like that, kind of. Yeah, but again, like... The world's crazy. And just because like, it's like, my family was never very religious, very political, very anything like that. So it's kind of weird to me, you know. Yeah, it, again, it's still very bizarre. Like, the world's going kind of nuts though right now. And oh, yeah, and just, definitely. It's like, and you and it's, uh, what the problem is, though, is that, like, this has been kind of a long time coming. But every year, it's just been like, oh, this X, this X year has been the worst year because, you know, unforeseen, cir- like, un- yeah. un- like, it's, it's Who ne- could have seen this in- inevitable betrayal? <laughs> yeah, like, you know, it's like, uh, like, the joke is like, that escalated quickly. But in actuality, it's like, oh, that escalated gradually over a, a, over a long period of time. Like, you yeah. know, we've, we've kind of, you know, been putting our hands in, like, everybody's business for so long. Like now, it's just kind of coming back to bite us a bit. Mm-hmm. Like uh, specifically, like you know, we did the when, like of all the CIA-led coups in other countries that had democratic leaders. Tehran used to be a place you could go visit and be like you know normal. Yeah, I mean, well, that's from the Islamic Revolution, but, but yeah. yeah, that is a counter-revolution to Western ideals. So. Yeah. <clears throat> But, but yeah so like again and then like you know all of the um other things that have happened because of our presence in the other countries where you know you know we started thinking we were the world police but in actuality we probably shouldn't have been you know i mean but the argument is like if we weren't doing it russia was gonna do it yeah and that's so, but i don't like we, like i get that and that's part of the cold war mo- uh, mindset yeah but again like i don't know what we can do um since we begin we're, we're now seeing the consequences of those actions mm-hmm. um, in a re- very real way, but like I don't know what I don't know what the answer is. I just yeah, I definitely don't know either. Like I can't, I cannot give you the answer because we were talking about this earlier about like the fifteen dollar minimum wage. Like it might not even be enough to get the fifteen dollar minimum wage for people because they have so much debt they have still mm. from you know from whatever from college from literally anything. Mm. 
But I feel like fifteen dollar minimum wage is just the bare minimum that you should be doing. Yeah, I knew it'd be good for everyone. Yeah. You should definitely. It's definitely a good start. Yeah, you should still be canceling debt. You should be canceling. Uh, there should college shouldn't be this, you know, ridiculous like uh, thing that will just break you um, physically because or not physically. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, financially. Well, yeah, and college was like hella over promoted. Yeah. Just to make money. Yeah, because again, like you should also be thinking about like oh, trade school should have been a thing that should have been more put on the table for people because mm -hmm. that's actually something that's going to be used more. Again, though, it's like, yeah, over-promoted so they can make money off of you. That's like the big the big thing is they wanted to make money off of you. And not that we want to make any money off of you, chat, but if you could go to our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just, just go, just a dollar a month gives you good rants like this. I'm just going to link it just to fully be a total dick right here. That's our Patreon. God. You, there's free stuff on there, chat. There's free stuff. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's freemium. I'll will send a, I'll send you to Instagram too. You can see all the pretty pictures. You can see all the pretty pictures here. You know, after, it won't cost you a dime, but you'll be a little behind on the updates. Just to be a total dick. <laughs> right there at the end of that rant. Yeah. <laughs> no. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> Fucking God. Mm. Jester says, yeah, I didn't want to do college because my family's low income and didn't want to put us more in the shithole. Yeah. And, like, there's plenty of viable jobs that don't require you to get a college degree. Yeah, you can just become, like, an undersea welder, and all you need to do is be the best at fucking welding from what I'm pretty sure about. Yeah, again, like, I... Yeah, it's a really dangerous job, but, you know, you're probably making a fuckload of money. What, what do you make as, like, an undersea welder? I'm going to go look that up. I don't know what the actual title for that is, so... And plus, there's like, like undersea welding. I know that you can also do like um, there's other tech jobs, cybersecurity, things like that. Like college is not meant for like like everyone, and that was the and that's the problem is that it was uh, marketed as something that if you don't go to college, you're a failure. Yeah, that's true. And you, that's like that's couldn't be further from the truth. Okay, so this is not bad though. It's not as much, but it's still pretty good. So. Um, let's see, commercial divers and underwater welders have a mean average uh, hourly wage of tw about $26.32, uh, while the mean uh, annual wage is about $55,000 a year. Additionally, the top percentile can make approximately $93,000. Uh, so that's not so bad. Yeah, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. I don't know how like great it is overall, but you know. I mean it's still pretty good. Yeah. You didn't have to go to college, I don't think. You had to go to welding school and diving school. I wonder what the cost of that is to become like this versus like to go to college. See, some of these other things say you can make more than this though, so I'm not sure. So it probably depends on where you're working. Yeah, well, again, it also depends probably to a company. Yeah, and especially like if you become the underwater supervisor, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. But like, I wonder like how much it would cost like to become an undersea welder versus to go to college to get a journalism degree. You know? <laughs> Oof. So. Oof. <clears throat> We're going straight to their useless degrees. Oh, you're right. You know, see, that's how new we are still to, to promoting stuff on Twitch. I'm still getting used to promoting everything else. Yeah, you guys need to uh, follow, you know, sub, hyper tier 7 sub. Rate, you know? comment, subscribe. Yeah, rate, comment, subscribe on this video. It's somewhere on the page, I'm sure. <laughs> Read the about, please. I, someone mentioned they did that. I couldn't believe it. I felt like that was the happiest girl in the world. Honestly. I could tell. He wouldn't yeah. stop talking about it. Through. I know. It was insane. Oh, you love the mask? It's your top three colors, uh, black, white, and red. Nice. And that's the mana they'd be for a Planeswalker? They'd be, um, what is that called now? Mardu, right? Yeah, it's Mardu. Yeah. That used to be called, um, oh, what did they used to call that? They had a different name before. Because it, it didn't officially have a name. That was one of the ones that didn't have a name until yeah. Cons. But the other ones, sometimes I still don't call them by their names because they already had words. Yeah. Their color abbreviations were words. Like, like bug. bug. 
Yeah, bug and rug were already ones. And then, of course, you got your pick of whatever country's flag you wanted yeah. for Jeskai. Yeah. There were so many that were like America or like, uh, I think it was Costa Rica or something. There was a bunch of them. France. Yeah, there was French. Yeah. As long as the flag had red, white, and blue, it could be your whatever country you wanted control deck. Puerto Rico control. I don't know if Puerto Rico. What's Puerto Rico? Yeah, that would be Puerto Rico. Yeah, theirs is like that. Yeah. yeah. Texas control, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. <clears throat> I think it was like Dega or something is what people used for that color combination normally. Yeah, it's been a while. It was a weird. It was a weird word. I don't know where that. I think that came from like a card name or something. That was red, white, black. I'm guessing. Yeah, I can't remember where that comes from. I would imagine it's from a card. There were some other weird ones like that too that came from like really obscure cards because they yeah. were some of the only ones that had those color combinations yeah, for a long about, time. That sounds about right. And Abzan was called junk normally yeah, because that. those colors were considered to be trash. Yeah, and not, <laughs> they were bad until cons. No, they were good before that. The name just stuck. Yeah, <laughs> much like um, the rock. Yeah. So rock was uh, Golgari. Yeah. But it was called that because the original deck in those colors, like the big one, yeah, yeah. was the one with. Um, Deranged Hermit, Which where you'd make infinite squirrels. Yeah, yeah. So he was the rock, and all the squirrels were his followers. Like the full deck name was like the rock and his millions of followers, or something <laughs> like that. And it was eventually shortened to rock, like the rock and then rock. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. That's that's the stuff I really like about uh, jargon and language yeah. is like how it evolves. Oh yeah. In like niche communities and things like that. That's really fun. It depends on your outlook on it. I think it's cool, um, but it definitely. Um, I can see someone. I remember someone pointing out that certain jargon was annoying because of the fact that it felt like it was to be exclusionary. It's about half and half. Yeah. Depends on how you use it. No, I agree. It's, it's a, because it's meant to be like a, an identifier, usually of a niche community, kind of. Yeah, and I agree and that like, it's fine. Like in a, um, in if you're being you know nice about it, but if you're just yeah. doing it specifically to be that elitist kind of like stick your nose up at somebody like oh, yeah. you, you don't know what this means. <laughs> I mean, you use it until someone doesn't know what it means. Yeah, you know, kind no, of. I guess my philosophy on terms like that. But again, I'm, I'm just talking about like. Um, no, I get you. That is a common like thing people say about jargon, quote yeah. unquote. <clears throat> so. Because every that because again it's like an identifier. Yeah. You know those things are like the um, you know the Jesus fish. Yeah, yeah. It's the same the same thing. Like the Jesus fish is is like a secret symbol. It's kind of like jargon also. You know in a way. Yeah, yeah I like agree. that. So if you say that word and someone you know picks up on it, you know usually the word the word they use for a lot of the other stuff is like dog whistle or whatever dog yeah. whistling. You know that's the more negative uh, combination of what yeah. I'm saying here. Yeah, yeah. So. <clears throat> but it can also be like an inclusion kind of you know like when some of the um candidates will say something in spanish you know, in a debate or whatever oh definitely yeah you know things like that so i'd agree to that it's like it, it's like a bit of both, but they're not doing it to be exclusionary. Yeah. Now, if you see it in a negative way, you'd feel it was exclusionary. Yeah, and well, I think that's an interesting uh, uh, point. So. At least that's my interpretation on it. No, I, think I try that... to have a pretty neutral, or at least like explain both sides on a lot of stuff. Because again, I don't really have much of a like hard side I lean to on a lot of things. No, it's like, these are the facts, you know. That's a reasonable take. What is it from Dragnet? You know, just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts, yeah. I think that's from Dragnet. Just the facts, ma'am. Thanks. Hey, <clears throat> and even that, that reference, I guess, could be considered that way, you know. Yeah. That's a old TV show, so. 
And then they made a movie of it at one point. I don't remember if it was good. Probably not. Probably not. I, don't, I mean, it has, I think it's, what is that, Dan Aykroyd and, uh, is that Hanks? Is, uh, is it with him? I can't remember who's in that movie. I don't know either, to be honest with you. I know Dan Aykroyd is one of them. I'm going to look that up real quick. Dragnet. I'm surprised. Did they not uh, reboot Dragnet? I don't know. Would not tell you. But they uh, was Hanks. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's the super young Hanks when he was more of a comedian. Usually, he, when he was the real everyman, mm-hmm. like the low tier everyman, not the inspirational everyman that Hanks has become. It's true. You know, he was the relatable everyman. Now I don't even know. There's it. there's a relatable everyman that everyone like you know that like I said the relatable everyman and then there's the inspirational everyman. No, I don't know where. So well, I'm explaining this to chat. Oh, okay. Know? So <clears throat> like he wasn't meant to inspire the OG Hanks. That young Hanks. That young Hanks. Back when he was hanging out doing like a bunch of comedy and yeah. stuff and other movies with like Meg Ryan and shit. Before they got to be more romantic, like the, the more hardcore like Sleepless in Seattle and um, You've Got You've Mail. Got Mail. Yeah, that's a good movie. Style stuff. Dave Chappelle in that movie too, if I remember correctly. Is he really? I think he is, yeah. No way. It's, it's a, Yeah, I think he is in that movie. Really? That's been forever. I'm, I'm, I'm IMDb-ing that right now. Because I remember he plays, uh, Dave Chappelle plays the friend of Tom Hanks in one of the movies, and I can't remember if it was You've Got Mail or another film. That is him. Yep. All right, wow. Yeah. It's been a long, long time since I've seen this one, so I did not remember that. I just remember, like, I believe there was, like, a giant Pepsi ad in this movie also somewhere. That might be Sleepless in Seattle, though. It's like a giant Pepsi truck on screen at one point. Yeah. It's pretty funny. That and that this movie single-handedly sold AOL. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is just AOL the movie. <clears throat> it's true, it is. If you ever wanted to know how an instant messenger makes a movie, watch this. This is how you sell your product. It's true. It's instant. You'd say surely you couldn't turn AOL chat into a movie. <laughs> Blasphemy. You would be wrong. Blasphemy. Damn, so sweet. You would be wrong. It's true. You can turn any idea into a movie. It's true. Enough. <clears throat> I still wanted to turn Candy Crush into a movie. I told you about that, right? You did, yeah. Yeah. My sci-fi black exploitation film, Candy Crush. <laughs> oh Lord, <laughs> bro, you know that movie would be hot. Hot garbage, dude. The villain is the president because he wants to take down Space Harlem. <laughs> Like, come on! Uh, yeah, he would. <laughs> just, just imagine Black Dynamite, but in the future. What the fuck? Just like, did you get like hit with all the paint from it? I did on the face because it just like suddenly like splattered everywhere. Took like a money shot to the face. Save that for the OnlyFans, bro. Oh damn, that's a good line. Mm-hmm. He's giving a character line right here. He says. Can you feel the heat, or is that the blade in your back? Ooh. Oh shit! I like that. That's good. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> yeah, because these look like they're like magical yeah, swords, he's, you know. Yeah, because he was a he was like a arcane trickster. Uh, oh X-Blade. yeah, okay, that's the one where you can do magic as a rogue, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, any class that, like, gives you, like, some magic, like, low-key magic shit like that, that's usually referred to as, like, a Gish character, I believe. If they're, like, a warrior and they can do magic. Something like that. I don't know where that term comes from, though. That's interesting. I didn't know that one. I always think of just a red mage whenever that's uh, a warrior yeah, where that does Where does this magic. term come from? oldest use of this word though it says entomology the term originates from the dungeons and dragons game where it originally referred to a 
Gith Yonki Fighter Wizard combination. Gith Gish is still an official term used in D and D referring to this, but is also used to refer to any character who has a, who has martial slash spellcasting combination of abilities. Hmm, yeah, because that's I knew how to use that word, but I didn't know exactly where it comes from. <coughs> Let me see. What is it? Hexblade, Warlock, Arcane, Trickster, Multiclass. But that sounds sweet. Yeah, it is. Hexblade was a cool... I, in um, 3.5, Hexblade was like its own class, and that was a pretty cool one to play. All right. Oh, okay, okay. He says his main ability is kind of like... Um, he didn't curse. You know, oh, the, from Naruto, do the way he stab himself. Yeah, and yeah. And get damaged. Yeah. I'm never gonna forget that manga panel of him where it just looks like he's like busting a nut. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. Because <laughs> there were so many, like in that in that chat uh, on the uh, comments from that chapter, everyone was like fangirl squealing. <laughs> <I> was like, <laughs> it was so funny. All right, I think that's it for this guy. That looks good. Yeah, I like it. What do you think, Jester? Let me back up a little bit. Let me reframe the shot. You love it? Awesome. Glad to hear it, yeah. I think it's fun to uh, be able to have him <coughs> fight, like, uh, juggling these uh, little like Hexblade daggers. Mm-hmm. But... Zoom in a little bit for you there. And then doing like, the fire lighting effect is a lot of fun. Yeah, I'll get this shipped out tomorrow. Yeah, 